will be going over how to add products into MAUI. Products is the home base for information about each of the items you sell at your dispensary. Products allows you to add variants like shirt sizes, dosage sizes, flavors, and more so that you can keep your product catalog precise and organized. A product must be added before you can add it in as inventory. To begin, let's add a flower item. Navigate to the pop-out window on the left side of the screen and select Inventory. Select Products at the top of the screen, then New Product. Select the category in the drop-down menu. Your categories will populate the required fields when creating products and inventory items. These required fields are marked with an asterisk and can vary based on your market. Next, let's enter a name. It's best to follow the same naming conventions across all your stores. This will help identify items in the cashier tab and make transfers easy between stores. For example, we have the brand name and the strain name. We will be adding the weight of the item when we add variants in a few steps from now. Next, enter an optional brand. This could be the manufacturer of the flower product. Enter an optional type. This acts as a subcategory in the category. This will allow you to set up deals based off the type and filter reports to make it easier to search for items in your inventory. Types can include joints, heavy eights, and moon rocks. Typically, variations can act as flower types, so this can be left blank. Enter an optional description and an optional photo. This information will push to your online menu integrator. Next, enter an optional strain name and strain species. Now I'm going to fill out the required information on the right-hand side. We will have the option to adjust the percentages and the terpenes when we are actually adding this item in as inventory. Right now, this information is placeholders or ranges. Enter an optional UPC. Enter the weight slash volume and the unit of measure. For flour, the unit of measure will always be grams. Weight slash volume will be used when you are creating pre-packaged flour or pre-rolls. If you are selling bulk flour, you will then select the box that says Sell by Weight, which will automatically select Use Price Profile. You also have the option to use a price profile without selling the flour by weight. Just select that box and then select the price profile that you would like to use. For this example, I'm going to use a specific out the door price and cost. You can also add location and or group specific pricing. Just select the customer group or location and then establish the price. Now we're going to add variations to this product. When I select add variation, the information entered in the previous section will act as our first variation. Enter the name. Whatever you type in the variant name box will append to the original product name. As you can see, all of this information is already filled out. And here's our second variation. I would enter the name of our second variation. Enter the unit of measure, weight. In this example, I am selecting sell by weight because we are selling bulk flour and selecting our price profile. Now let's add one more variation. Enter the variant name, enter the weight, unit of measure, price, and cost. Now that all required fields have been entered, click save in the upper right corner. Now let's search for the product we just made. Here it is. On the right hand side, you'll see details of the variations we've also created. We have our one gram pre-roll, our bulk flour, and our pre-packaged eighth. Now let's add a non-flower item to the catalog. Navigate to the screen's pop-out window on the left-hand side and select Inventory. At the top of the screen, select Products, then select New Product. Select the category from the drop-down menu. We're going to go ahead and make cartridges. Enter the name of the product. Again, it's best to follow the same naming conventions across all your stores. I will add the weight of this cartridge when we add variants in the next few steps. Add the brand, and then the optional type. Again, types acts as a subcategory within the category. 
This will allow you to set up deals based on the type and filter reports to make it easier to search for items in your inventory. Types can include sugar, wax, cold cure, or if you're working with edibles, that could be chocolate, gummies, suckers, etc. Again, the description and image is optional, as well as the strain name and strain species. Now, enter the required information on the right-hand side. This information can be a range and can be edited when you're actually adding this item in as inventory. Now, enter the UPC, the weight slash volume, and the unit of measure. Enter any other required fields based off of your market and category. Then enter a price or select a price profile to use. Now let's add our variations. Again, the information entered previously will act as our first variant. Enter the variant name, which will append to the name of the product. Scroll down to your next variation and enter the variant name. Variants are best used when thinking about weights of items or flavors. In this example, we are selling a Maui Waui cartridge that is sold in different sizes. If we were adding edibles as a product instead of cartridges, some examples of variations could be different flavors or a multi-pack or single pack of gummies, for example. This next variation is a two pack of a one gram cart. When entering the weight slash volume for a package, make sure to do the entire weight of the package. Enter the price and cost. Once all required fields are entered, the save button in the upper right corner will turn purple. Now let's check on our product we just made. Here it is. On the right hand side, again, we can see our variations and more information about it. We can also edit this product at any time and add more variations if we need to. Now let's add in an accessory product. Navigate to the screen's pop-out window on the left-hand side and select Inventory. At the top of the screen, select Products, then select New Product. Select the category, and then enter the name. Again, we are going to use our variation feature to add in different sizes of a white t-shirt. The only other required information is going to be the price and cost. Brand, type, Description, photo, UPC, and par level are all optional. Now let's add our variations. Again, the information entered in the previous section will act as our first variation. Now when we scroll down to our next variation, we will need to give it a name as well as any other required fields like the price and cost. Now that we have three variations of our white t-shirt made, let's take a look at it. Here it is. On the right hand side, you'll see all three of our variations. 